Hey guys, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. In today's video, we're just going to be testing out some different shades of gold and Naples yellow to see what I like best to complement a couple different shades of purple. Um, I have a palette in mind that I want to do on a larger canvas. So today's just testing. Maybe we get a couple of nice little pieces and I'm um, just going to dork around in the uh, tub and the spinner and have some fun. Let me get you down. And you thought it was over. <laughs> so guys, um, after I showed you the wet results, I knew I was going to scrape two out of the three. And I decided to try a different base paint. Now, I don't want to discourage anyone from using the Glidden Premium because it does work fine. You just need to like pour it into some sort of container and leave it sit out a little bit. It thickens up and it works great. It just doesn't work as great when you pour it straight out of the can. Um, so what I've done was, this is the 8x10. I've scraped it and I have opened up a can of my Sherwin-Williams Captivate. Let me get it right here. Under this stuff right here. And the satin white, you buy it right off the shelf. You don't have it mixed or anything um at your sherwin williams store i don't know if they sell it in lowe's probably not um it is one of their newer products they do sell out of it fast and then you gotta wait for it to get restocked it is not discontinued it is not um and i know this because when i went to sherwin williams yesterday um they just got in another batch so i promptly bought four gallons so he's like, you're taking half of our supplies. I'm like, uh, yes, <laughs> you're going to sell it to me. He's like, well, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to go again um, and just make some pretty blooms and um, see if there's a difference. So this is the Captivate. And you can already tell, hopefully, how thicker and how slower that spreads out. It's... uh. Yeah, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. And this is um, almost right out of the can, maybe 15 minutes ago, mixed with a little bit of my GAC, and it is good to go. Um, very few bubbles I see, and it popped on its own. I see one, two, and that's it. And um, I had given a really good stir, so I kind of expected some bubbles, but really that's all I see. So there's that, and let's just go again um, and we're going to start with the Amsterdam Light Gold and do a bunch of that. And my Shimmer Violet. I do think that's the right shade of Light Gold. And then we'll do some Interference Violet. And then the ultramarine violet. Mm. Let's do a bunch more gold. Gold. We'll do. That wasn't really a bullseye. Oh, that was just another puddle. Let's just do a little bit of that. And then the interference. And there's the there's the Amazon guy. Can you hear the beeping? He's backing up. All right. And I think I'm just gonna go with black cell activator this time. We're gonna forego the white. And let's give this a blow out.
That was a terrible job with the hair dryer. You got too much black in the middle. I'm kind of goof this up here. Um, gosh, I'm tempted to just like wreck this or something now. And it's a little dark. Maybe I needed the um, the white after all. And I know when I spin this, all of this here is going to be trouble, trouble. Double trouble. Let me stare at this. Yeah. This one's trouble. I know it by looking at it. Boy, I could give that a spin, just for giggles, right? I'm gonna grab the rest of this gold. I like it with the gray there. Let's put some of this around it. I'll do a traditional bloom. I'm just playing right now since I know I screwed that up. Just making some lines in the same direction. Where else do I want to go? I'll go through there and maybe one more. This spot right here in the middle, that's my trouble area right there. Oh, look at that. And that was, that was user error. That's nothing to do with the paint. Just for giggles, let's give this a spin. Wow, look at the movement. That's pretty cool. That one little thing I did, look how big that got. Right here. I actually kind of like this, y'all. Except for that white line. The movement I got and the lines. Hmm. Yeah, I want to stick my finger in it. Oh my gosh, I messed this up and this could have been so pretty. Let me see if I can fix it. Where's Charmin when I need her? She would run a skewer through this and fix it right up. Nope, I messed that all up. paint to pour it off. We're going to put the weight of the paint down lower. We're going to run over that one part. I 
and take it off and fix it. Don't give up. Don't give up on your art. Something's not going your way. A little perseverance sometimes might just save the day. Hopefully that little white spot will fill up. Yeah, because there's still I still need to um, spin a little more paint off. But I'm kind of liking that, y'all. For, for goofing, for being a goof, that's pretty cool. Let me see now. Should have dragged some lines down. Making sure I get coverage on my sides. That's actually quite lovely. That's quite lovely. Debating whether or not I like this dark area right here. And I'm thinking if I tilt it, if there's enough paint left, I could like put a bend in right here. So this, cause it had a bend and have it bend a little more. Um, if not, you know, we're playing today. So let's see if we can get a bend going and take off just a little bit of that dark spot or move it to the edge at least. And I think I spent off all the paint, so nothing's really happening. Let me stare at this. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm gonna move him over and we'll grab another one and maybe try to get a, um, a traditional bloom going. Yeah. That's gonna be really pretty in the light with all the, um, this is all interference stuff right here. So there's that one. Let me turn it around so you can see it like that. See, I feel like this is a little dark. Hold on. Let's play. This is gonna be a hell of a long video. But I just dunked my skewer into the gold. And it's not gonna go all the way up. Hold on. Let's go. And it can fade off. And dunk my skewer back into the gold. We'll just add like a little gold feature and have it run off right there. Oh no, it needs to go all the way up. Hold on, I'm all excited now. So we're gonna take it, start back here, and just have it fade off into there. Oh my gosh, that helped tremendously. Tremendously. And I'm gonna do another one, because that works so well. I'm gonna do another one here, and just put a little more touches of gold, just to break up that black a little bit. And maybe take the gold right there and have it come down. And it'll get thinner and thinner and that's cool. All the way down. Oh yeah. That's a keeper for me y'all right there. I'm gonna move him over and uh, we'll do the uh, hexagon. Okay guys, I cleaned up and I put the two, the first two side by side. And man, what a difference. The, um, I just wanted to show you the three golds. So here's the, the first one we used, the um, iridescent precious gold. Here is the Naples yellow. And now we're going to try Amsterdam's um, gold light. Yeah, they're like gold, which is that shade right there. So we'll see how this goes. I don't think any of these canvases or substrates are going to live. This is all just test and practice today. Um, and I'll show you why when I get you down. It has a lot to do with my house paint being too thin. So you definitely, um, if you pour it in a puddle and then it spreads out too quick and it's too thin, it really doesn't help hold your cells, if that makes any sense. And I'll show you. 
So let me get down my brand new Glen Essentials, Essentials, which is definitely too thin for me today. This little eight by eight canvas. Yeah, maybe a little more in the middle here. All right, it's the same deal. We'll start with the Amsterdam Gold Light. I have all these golds and yellows. I should just do one in just all of those colors and do something monochromatic. Um, and then we'll go with the shimmer. And then we'll go with some iridescent. That iridescent violet by um, Pearl X is, it's stunning, man. It is really, really pretty. That shade there, you probably guys probably can't see the glow of it like I can, but it's pretty fantastic, I gotta say. All right, let's put some uh, little bullseyes here. One. Two. Do the violet and violet together, kind of like that look. Three. And then, yeah, all right, here we go. Black sock of hair. White. Maybe this will be it, the, uh, the little Goldilocks right here. Well, I like the tone of this one. I think I needed maybe more gold. Um, I see it. I doubt you guys can see it. Let me grab, let's throw a little paint there. A little paint there. It was a very organized blowout, um, even though I dug into the white a little bit too much there. Let's give this a spin and see if we can get the gold to show up. I see some of it. There's not enough gold. It's still kind of cool looking. That's a good little bloom, though, I gotta say. Um, ta da! I'm not happy with today's experiments, but I do kind of, and I don't want to scrape it, I do kind of think that this might be the gold. I think you guys would kill me if I scraped this one. I do, I think you'd kill me. Um, I think I'm gonna get off a little more of that dark area. There we go.
I'm staring. I'm debating what to do. Um, I know if I put this under the light, I bet you'll be able to see the gold. None of these are matching the vision I have in my head. Let me just say that. I do love the cells in this one though. There's some really pretty ones. I'm gonna say ta-da. And the, the experiments with the gold um, sort of work. I definitely think when I go big, I will be using this last version of the um, light gold over the uh, precious gold or the Naples yellow. Naples yellow did not work out for me at all. Um, I know I do have an older video um, where I did a big swipe, like it was a 12 by 36. I'll, I'll put the li video link up there where I used the purples and blacks and I used my Cronacridone Nickel Hazel Gold. And that was great, but I'm deliberately choosing not to use that color this time. Anyway, let me get you down um, for a close up of all three and you guys can tell me which one you like best. And I'm not sure if any of these are gonna live, so there will be no dry results uh, for this video. Um, and I'll show you why. Hey guys, so two videos in a row, because I'm so behind on editing videos, I'm able to show you the finished, finished results of these pieces. Um, well, except for the one hexagon, which I can't lay hands on right now. So two out of the three. So here's this one, it's been resin. I haven't attached it to the frame yet. Super, super pretty, really. I love the um, the color shift effect of this one. Look at that. Just really, really cool. Super, super pretty. Um, so there's that guy. It is for sale. I'm really not gonna, I'm not gonna put it on my website though because I have an, an art show um, next month and I think I wanna take it to the art show. So I'm gonna hold on to this one for a bit so there's that one and then this one is um a work in progress too it's not in the frame yet either and i have been busy adding my dots to it and doing a little bit of embellishing and it's hard to pick up the 3d effect of the dots because um i did a bunch of dots right on the paint and then resined it and now i'm dotting on top of the resin and it'll get another coat, maybe even a third. So this one's not quite done, but it is coming along. I like the little, the little details of this guy, super pretty. And I have no idea where the uh, tile went. So sorry about that. You get two out of three. <laughs> hey guys, uh, take two. <laughs> That's it for me tonight. I am all caught up on video editing, so um, yeah, you'll get to see dry results, but not resin results after this video. Um, I'm all caught up on commissions as well, and we have one more to do, so I am accepting commissions again. Uh, just shoot an email to me at waterfallacrylics at gmail.com, and finally, please check out the Fluid Art Experience website. The link is in the description section. Come check us out if you can uh, in Plano, Texas, November 11th and 12th. And I'll be there. Sarah Mack will be there. Mina Villegas, Kathleen from Cause Creations and the fabulous Massey Art Studio. We're gonna have a ball, tons of classes to choose from. Um, we're gonna have a big buffet and a question and answer sec um, session and other little things uh, I'm not gonna tell you about. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, please like, share, and subscribe. You guys take care. Um, I'll see you in a couple days. Peace out.